Hey guys, so I was sent this story yesterday and I actually initially saw this story when I was going over the tragic story of the, the Muslim judge that um, was found dead. And I meant to talk about the story, but the thing of it is, is some things I feel like really don't even need my time and doesn't deserve my attention. But since people actually sent this to me, you know, I'm going to talk about it. First, I want to say this woman should be put, should, should be spending 50% of her time in a zoo and the remaining 50% of her life in a psychiatric hospital. It's interesting how with these cave devils, despite the fact that they have international media and propaganda geared towards making them, um, where it should be giving them the, the utmost self-esteem, they still take extreme measures to be something other than who they are or to look like something other than themselves. So this just gives you a great idea into the psyche of the, this devil and the level of, of self-esteem that they have. And see, when we, come, when we talk about self-esteem, one of the main points of me doing this channel is to kind of change the narrative, control it a little bit so that black people can see reality and that that can help to restore their self-esteem. Because when you look at the, the, the um, Caucasoid race in general, if you look at it really for what it is, you shouldn't really have a desire to even be like them and your self-esteem should naturally increase because you should be happy and loving the fact that you're the complete opposite of them. But see, we get caught up so much in this illusion of success. We look at the fact that they've obtained material um, possessions and that they have societal power that's crashing down based on the illusion that they're somehow supreme. And all things eventually come to an end. The truth does come out. But we need to stop looking at them as someone to model ourselves after and look at their psychology and the fact that they don't even like who they are. Keep in mind, although she's in German, this is something that, that happens worldwide. Keep in mind that tanning salons are billion-dollar industry. While they're sitting there talking about how superior white is, they do so much to try to be the exact opposite of white. Because tanning salons are geared towards making white people non-white. Which Because if you're tan, if you're brown, you're not white. So you should ask yourself, why would a group of people who have established an entire industry geared toward their false sense of supremacy based on their whiteness, why would they try to do so much to be the opposite of what they're saying is the greatest thing to be? That's what we should be wondering. But we go through, again, I said that we, we sit here and we look at stuff when we go through life not really asking questions of why, not really analyzing or thinking about what's going on. And that's, that's to our detriment because they're able to control our self-esteem because we're not really thinking um, in depth about anything that comes our way. Whenever somebody tells you in the media that someone is attractive, you should always question why that person is being said that they're attractive. Are they attractive because they actually are? Or are they attractive because you've been brainwashed to think everything white is attractive, although they spend billions of dollars trying to be the exact opposite? That's what should be asked. And see, this is why I don't have the misconception that simply because someone is white, they're attractive. I actually think if someone is white, they are the least attractive because white isn't anything that even occurs naturally. All foods that are white are horrible and break down your body faster than melanated food. Anything that naturally occurs has color to it. So if you have these pale devils who are absent of any color, unless you make them mad and they turn red, you should always question it. But let's get into this um, farce of a story because this is just ridiculous. And she's saying um, she's turning her skin mahogany with tanning injections, but you guys have to understand these um, tanning injections are melanin. That's what they are. And look, she's 28 years old, air hostess, and she has no plan to, to tan her Kirby addiction. This is a woman that they're saying is 28 years old. This is ridiculous. She is 28 years old.
and she looks like she's um, 58. Now I'm going to get a little bit into the video. I'm not really going to play it in its entirety. I'll probably just play the audio for you guys because you know there's always this whole issue with copyright. So I'll probably play the audio for you guys and then I'll get back to some commentary. So what do you think you've got better looking? Yeah. Okay, let's see that picture again. Just want the viewers maybe to see here. What do you think? That was Martina. How long ago was that? When? 2011. 2011. 2011. Okay, no, so six that's years. six years ago. Okay. Um, so that's your natural size. What size is your bust now? This was 32D. Yeah. Now I have 20 feet. Yeah. 32, 22D or a super size. A super size. Yes. That's right. I call it in British size, it's 32S. It's a super, I call it super size. Why did, you, why did you want them so big? That one, makes, it is, it's a theory size. And all sizes end up M like yeah. M. Don't worry about the size, but yeah. why did you want them so big? I um, have to go back in other. When I was younger, I admired the curves of Helena Anderson and the Barbie size. Of Katie Price. Katie Price is a friend of Ruth's. I know okay. Katie Price. So the glamour model, yes, she's a glamour model. Are you a glamour model? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But they are very, very big for the size of your body. You're quite petite and quite slight. Do you, yeah. want, to show are, people, do you want to show people if we stand are up? Are they uncomfortable? Can you, can we stand okay. up? Right. And you can balance there, okay? Everything, yeah. right? You can see your ass on. Yeah. Also. Okay, high heels on. If you're going to tip over, just hold on to me, okay? How are yeah. they? Are they implants, or how? What's in them that's made them so big? Yeah, it's a, they're implants. They're very stretchy. This is my first implant set. I started this breast surgery was in December 2012. Look, anyone can have the big breast things. Anybody can. We've all done mm -hmm. millions of interviews. But they have a saline solution that you can increase them. Oh, but, the that, but it's yeah. the color. It's the color. And here's my concern for you, Martine. Right? You think you look more beautiful, yeah? yeah? Do you think the general public thinks you look more beautiful? It's I do, I do mostly of my fans that, um, oh, I remember you as a white girl and looking different, yes. but interesting. And if you are feeling well, and because my doctor said, and they had a consultation before, he told me it's safe, it's a synthetic stuff, oh. so it's not uh, human, but whatever. Yeah. It, well, it's interesting you say that about that your doctor in terms of nice contrast of my long blonde hairs and some of that skin. It's an extreme exotic real life body. Curvy glamour model Martina Big has made a career out of her extreme Barbie doll look. But her new tan has shocked even her most dedicated of fans. I asked my doctor, I have problems to get tanned. I want to be crispy brown. Do you know a way? And you know the really good uh, I got from my doctor three injections and beginning from the first week I am getting darker, darker and darker. I'm going to show you my old makeup. And I'm really happy that it works very well. It's a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> the injection was nine weeks ago. Each week I am getting a little bit darker and a little bit darker and I'm a little bit browner than I first expected. First, my fans were very irritated because nobody has seen a girl before changing her color from white to African black. Now, oh, I like your style. I want to have really dark skin because I like the nice contrast of my long blonde hairs and some are dark skin.
Maybe I'm a little bit addicted to this crispy tan, but most addicted I'm for my beats. Now I'm going to leave the link to the full video in the description box so you guys can, can, um, can listen to and can watch the whole thing. But this is an interesting dynamic though, because even when black women do something so small as to, you know, change the texture of the hair that they wear from, you know, maybe the typical, what people see as the stereotypical exclusively black um, way to wear their hair, which is in an afro, to make their hair straight that they're getting from Malaysians and Indians. Um, not the the the, and I'm and I'm not talking about the Europeanist Asians. I'm talking about the dark screen, the dark skin, hella melanated Asian um, Asians who are the Indians. Whenever black women do that, they're get, they're getting criticized, told they're trying to be white, and then you know the ignorant dudes who are beta males that focus on hair and makeup only when there's real life issues that we should be focusing on, they'll sit there and say you don't see white women trying to um, get weave and hairstyles that are what black women wear when in actuality there's a, a plethora of them you're constantly even with um the kardashians you've seen them with braids in their hair we often see um you know there was a big thing with mark jacobs where he was where putting bantu bantu knots in their white models hair calling them mark jacob buns we've always we know there's the racial dolezals we know there's her the difference is though again like i said we live in a society globally that has has been geared towards uplifting the caucasoid devils rather than giving them any reason or any notion to try and change themselves so the the injections that she's referring to they're they're calling them tanning injections but they're actually melanin injections because when you put when you do something and put it inside your body what they're doing is they're giving you synthetic melanin or they given her synthetic melanin so that she can turn darker. Now, of course, the white society overall, they're going to see a problem with that because they've done so much to get you to believe that white is better. However, you know, people, anyone of sound mind would know that white isn't better. There isn't anything beneficial to being white. And this woman knows that, although she's sitting here looking like a freak of nature. She clearly believes that it's better to be dark skinned. It is. But of course, it's not going to be widely received because it goes against that propaganda that white is right. So when you have someone like her coming out doing the exact opposite of a white woman, of course, they're going to prop her up on news because they think she's a freak of nature. When in reality, if you think about it, her mindset is actually where it needs to be. Because darker is better, so she should be trying to darken her skin. But the fact that the matter is, if you do, you guys look at her and notice how she is supposed to be twenty eight. Because that tanning does something to you. First of all, at the Caucasoid, you're going to age at a very um, quick. You're going to age in dog years anyway. That's why you can look at any random white woman and you can look at her and she probably is going to look 10 years older than she actually is. Because the thing of it is there's so many different benefits to melanin and that truth is coming out now that there, there's no validity to this white is better. There isn't any. And this woman realizes that. And I know that in the beginning, I said that she should be in a zoo and also in a psychiatric ward. That's pertaining to the level of her boobs. Because in terms of her trying to um, make herself darker, again, I believe that's the only part of her mind that actually is rational and sound. Because in, in every regard, melanated is better than non-melanated, okay? So that's why they have to construct this society that's based on the myth that they're better, because in reality, it's not. And reality shows them on a constant daily basis that there isn't anything good about being white. You have the most um, genetic disorders and, and um, birth diseases. You have the lowest birth rate. You're dying off. You can't go out into the sun, which gives life to everyone else. Keep in mind, nothing can survive without sun. However, it's a killer to these devils. It is extreme recessiveness to the degree that the only way to replicate itself is if you have that exact same thing. Black people don't fear dying out by mating with white people. Again, you can't as a Caucasoid say 
in one breath that you're genetically and superior otherwise, you're pure superior white race, but then in the other one say, oh, I fear genetic. I can't be around. We need to get rid of all of these non-white immigrants because if we don't, that's going to lead to our genetic annihilation. It's insanity and it's stupid and that's why the truth is coming out. But you have to understand, look at what this woman was and what she's transforming herself to. So this is just a physical manifestation of white low self-esteem. And it's saying that she's transformed her look after undergoing plastic surgery and changing her skin tone. She had to take melanin, shot, melanin shots for that. And it says she's addicted to tan injections and desperate to get darker. Iman, Iman said he thought she looked like the color of burnt toads. This tells you their ignorance in the mind of these cockadoid devils. The 28-year-old appeared on the show with Ruff Lansford and Eamon Holmes to discuss why she decided to change her skin tone after being born white. Eamon says she looked like the color of burnt toast, and she replied telling him, yes, I, I started pale a little bit like you. Explaining why she had tanning injections, she said, ever since I was younger, I have wanted crispy, dark brown holiday skin. Her bus size is now 23S, which stands for super size, and says she wanted to emulate Katie Price. Again, this is a woman that, that has a, a, a low self-esteem about being white. And really, we need to embrace stories like this because, again, the only way to go deep into the psyche and to get your self-esteem back, you have to see how much they wrestle with being white, how destructive it is for them to be white, how internally they know white is, is the, the most um, degenerate, lower form of existence you could actually have. While these tanning injections are banned in the UK, Martina insisted her doctor said it was safe. She said, my doctor told me it is tested and is safe because I have had a consultation. Keep in mind, her husband is doing the same thing. Iman then asked her to stand up and show the size of her chest in comparison to the rest of her body and told her to hold on to him so she could balance. Martina says she wanted to go bigger and get bigger lips to achieve the ultimate Barbie doll look. But again, you should look at this for what it is. This is a representation of what's really going on in the minds of all, the, all of these cockatoid devils. She's just putting it into a physical manifestation. Her boyfriend, Michael, then joined her on the couch and revealed he is also undergoing tanning injections to change his formerly pale skin. He said, you can see I have blue eyes and could never achieve tan before. Because people who are that recessive, because again, they'll sit here and talk about how, how beautiful it is to have pale skin and, and they'll tell you it's pure white, it's pure recessive. It's pure weakness. Because the whiter you are, the more likely you're going to burn. You're going to be resistant to this sun that, keep in mind, nothing can live without. You can't even have food that you eat without the sun. So the sun is the life giver, and it's death to these pale cockadoid devils. Martina thinks she looks better now. Viewers took to Twitter in their droves to talk about her rather unusual look. One wrote, well, I think I'll give the tanning injections a miss. Another said, there's tanned and there's char grilled. What does that woman think she looks like? Sorry, but that's just horrendous. Yuck. This tells you the mindset of them. Ha ha, burnt toes. What the F has this woman done to herself? This can't be a safe thing to do to yourself, can it? And look at the ignorance in the mindsets of these cockadoid devils. Mind you, they'll be the same ones going and laying out in the sun with a chemical on or getting under a tanning, um, a tanning bed trying to accomplish the same thing just at a lighter color. There's no difference between what, they're, what they do when they go get tans versus what she's doing. She's only getting a, an injection so her tanning can be darker. There's tan and there's char grill. What does that woman think she looks like? It's just the stupidity and the mindsets. And her skin actually looks way better being darker than it would ever look being white. 
And the thing of it is, is you, they're coming on here making these comments about tanning, but it, it hasn't, it kind of hasn't dawned on them that there's a problem with the fact that they have to go get unnatural methods of having some melanin. And there's a reason why all of these comments are Caucasoid devils, because I told you, young or old, male or female, foreign or domestic, they are all the same. They think the same. They act the same. They have the same psyche. Someone else, well, this, this woman is literally an assault on all of my senses. Make it stop. Another added, what a world we live in when a regular white woman, one one of wanted to become black by injecting tan into her body but others thought the criticism was unfair and said don't understand why people are being so judgmental she can do what she likes with her bodies others li like to do with theirs but again the thing of it is is you have to think about the psyche of these caucasoid devils because they ignore the fact that literally if they walk outside without putting on some sunscreen that essentially makes them appear like her under a uv light darker than her because it actually tanning uh, tanning and sunscreen makes them look black when under a uv light so just because they can't see it on the outside, this, these idiots don't realize they're doing the exact same thing simply to be able to walk out into the sun, the life giver, and not die and not get burnt and not be uncomfortable while everyone else is comfortable in it. So you have to think of the psyche when reality contradicts what you think, but you keep thinking it. When you live in a delusion that it's better to be white, but you go through your life taking measures and precautions to deal with the side effects, the detrimental ones, the negativity that is associated with being white. When they run around here complaining that they can't be around other races of people, least they get bred out and go into non-existence, but yet they cling to that myth that white is better. When they see that they have to, at the age of 30, go to fertility clinics simply so that they can have a child, they have the lowest birth rate on the planet due directly to their Caucasoid genetics, and yet they still have this mentality that it's a bad thing to be black. It, it has to be interesting to live in that type of delusion. It has to be interesting to deal, live in that type of delusion where reality contradicts your thought process every single day, but you still cling to that thought process because that delusion is the only thing that helps your self-esteem, that makes you want to get up and live and breathe another day. That's the interesting thing about being a Caucasoid devil. And I wouldn't want to live in delusion like that. Because to me, reality is what you need to be consistently live in reality. And the fact that they don't is one of the reasons why they're dying out. The fact that they want to focus exclusively on black people when they have so much degeneracy and disease and recessiveness going on in their own community. I would not want to be white. I am thankful every single day that I am not white. Because really the only benefits to it are societal constructs. Those are the only benefits to being white. Nobody can tell you anything genetically, scientifically, or otherwise. They can't list you one benefit other than a socially constructed benefit to being white. And I challenge anybody to tell me one thing, one benefit to being white that is not socially constructed. I will literally give a thousand dollars to the person that can list one benefit genetically to being white. One scientific, and you need to back it up with some evidence, one scientific benefit to being white. One biological benefit to being white. I challenge you, because there's so many of these trolls out here that want to mention IQ, social construct. Long hair, everybody has that. And yours is one of the only ones that just so happen to have bugs laying eggs in it naturally. Other than those two things, nobody can mention any real benefit to being white. 
And that's the thing. And 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 with this, this is why I'm good, happy that there's trolls because they'll troll, but they're gonna start thinking. They'll get to thinking about how, what is the actual benefit to being white except for what society constructs. And then you have to go deeper into that and ask yourself, if society has to construct some benefits to whiteness, that should tell you just how inferior and um, non-beneficial it is to be white. Because the only benefit that you get is that you've created it, but, and, in re and that's called an illusion. In reality, there is no benefits to being white, and that's why this woman is doing everything she can to not be white. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll leave the link in the description box, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And the truth does come out. But we need to stop looking at them as someone to model ourselves after and look at their psychology and the fact that they don't even like who they are. Keep in mind, although she's in German, this is something that, that happens worldwide. Keep in mind that tanning salons are billion-dollar industry. While they're sitting there talking about how superior white is, they do so much to try to be the exact opposite of white. Because tanning salons are geared towards making white people non-white. Which Because if you're tan, if you're brown, you're not white. So you should ask yourself, why would a group of people who have established an entire industry geared toward their false sense of supremacy based on their whiteness, why would they try to do so much to be the opposite of what they're saying is the greatest thing to be? That's what we should be wondering. But we go through, again, I said that we, we sit here and we look at stuff when we go through life not really asking questions of why, not really analyzing or thinking about what's going on. And that's, that's to our detriment because they're able to control our self-esteem because we're not really thinking um, in depth about anything that comes our way. Whenever somebody tells you in the media that someone is attractive, you should always question why that person is being said that they're attractive. Are they attractive because they actually are? Or are they attractive because you've been brainwashed to think everything white is attractive, although they spend billions of dollars trying to be the exact opposite? That's what should be asked. And see, this is why I don't have the misconception that simply because someone is white, they're attractive. I actually think if someone is white, they are the least attractive because white isn't anything that even occurs naturally. All foods that are white are horrible and break down your body faster than melanated food. Hey guys, so I was sent this story yesterday and... I actually initially saw this story when I was going over the tragic story of the, the Muslim judge that um, was found dead. And I meant to talk about the story, but the thing of it is, is some things I feel like really don't even need my time and doesn't deserve my attention. But since people actually sent this to me, you know, I'm going to talk about it. First, I want to say this woman should be put should, should be spending 50% of her time in a zoo and the remaining 50% of her life in a psychiatric hospital. It's interesting how with these cave devils, despite the fact that they have international media and propaganda geared towards making them um, where it should be giving them the, the utmost self-esteem, they still take extreme measures to be something other than who they are or to look like something other than themselves. So this just gives you a great idea into the psyche of the, this devil and the level of, of self-esteem that they have. And see, when we, come, when we talk about self-esteem, one of the main points of me doing this channel is to kind of change the narrative, control it a little bit so that black people can see reality and that that can help to restore their self-esteem. Because when you look at the, the, the um, Caucasoid race in general, if you look at it really for what it is, you shouldn't really have a desire to even be like them and your self-esteem should naturally increase because you should be happy and loving the fact that you're the complete opposite of them. But see, we get caught up so much in this illusion of success. We look at the fact that they've obtained material um, possessions and that they have societal power that's crashing down based on the illusion that they're somehow supreme.
And all things eventually come to an end. Anything that naturally occurs has color to it. So if you have these pale devils who are absent of any color, unless you make them mad and they turn red, you should always question it. But let's get into this um, farce of a story because this is just ridiculous. And she's saying um, she's turning her skin mahogany with tanning injections. But you guys have to understand these um, tanning injections are melanin. That's what they are. And look, she's 28 years old, air hostess, and she has no plan to, to tan her Kirby addiction. This is a woman that they're saying is 28 years old. This is ridiculous. She is 28 years old, and she looks like she's um, 58. Now, I'm going to get a little bit into the video. I'm not really going to play it in its entirety. I'll probably just play the audio for you guys because, you know, there's always this whole issue with copyright. So I'll probably pay the audio for you guys, and then I'll get back to some commentary. So what do you think you've got better looking? Yeah. Okay, let's see that picture again. Just want the viewers maybe to see here. What do you think? That was Martina. How long ago was that? When? 2000. 2011. 11. Okay. No, so six, that's six years ago. Okay. Um, so that's your natural size. What size is your bust now? This was 32D. Yeah. Now I have 20D. Now I have 32. 22D or a super size. I super size. Yes. I I call it in British size, it's 32S. It's a super, I call it super size. Why did, you, why did you want them so big? That one, makes, it is, it's a theory size. And all sizes end up M, like yeah. Don't well, worry about the size. But yeah. why did you want mm. Curvy glamour model Martina Big has made a career out of her extreme Barbie doll look. But her new tan has shocked even her most dedicated of fans. I asked my doctor, I have problems to get tanned. I want to be crispy brown. Do you know a way? And to know the really good things. I got from my doctor three injections and Beginning from the first week, I am getting darker, darker, and darker. I'm going to show you my old makeup. And I'm really happy that it works very well. A little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> the injection was nine weeks ago. Each week, I am getting a little bit darker and a little bit darker. And I'm a little bit browner than I first expected. Darker <gasps> Wow. First. My fans were very irritated because nobody has seen a girl before changing her color from white to African black. No? Oh, I like your style. I want to have really dark skin because I like the nice contrast of my long blonde hairs and summer dark skin. Maybe I'm a little bit addicted to this crispy tan, but most addicted I'm for my beats. Now I'm going to leave the link to the full video in the description box so you guys can, can, um, can listen to and can watch the whole thing. But this is an interesting dynamic though, because even when black women do something so small as to you know, change the texture of the I want them so big. I um, have to go back in also when I was younger I admired the curves of Hasna Anderson and the Barbie side of Katie Price. Katie Price is a friend of Ruth's. I know Katie okay. Price. So the glamour model, yes, she's a glamour model. Are you a glamour model? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But they are very, very big for the size of your body or quite Teeth and quite slight. Do you, yeah. want show, uh, do you want to show people if we stand are up? Are they uncomfortable? Can, you, can we stand okay. up? Right? And you can balance there, okay? Everything's yeah. right? You can see your ass on. Also, my lips also. Okay. My well, heels on. If you're going to tip over, just hold on to me, okay? How, 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 are, they, are they implants? Or how? what's in them that's made them so big? 
yeah, it's a, they're implants, they're very stretchy. This is my first implant set. I started this breast surgery was in December 2012. Look, anyone can have the big breast things. I mean, again, we've all done millions of interviews. But they have a saline solution that you can increase them. Oh, but, the no, but it's yeah. the colour, it's the colour. And, and here's my concern for you, my team, right? You think you look more beautiful, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you think the general public thinks you look more beautiful? It's I do, I do mostly also my fans side and oh I remember you as a white girl and looking different. Yes. But interesting. And if you are feeling well and because my doctor there and they had a consolation before, he told me it's safe, it's a synthetic stuff, oh. so it's not uh, human but whatever yeah. it is. Well, it's interesting you say that about that your doctor in terms of nice contrast of my long blonde hairs and some of that skin. It's an extreme, exotic, realized body.